So if you're looking for a real world biker review of the Dionysi Street Biker DWP, that's waterproof technical riding shoe, you've definitely come to the right place. Welcome back to Bikeaholics, Ryan Erlock here, LawBuddingBiker.com. Thank you for checking back in. This is the Dionysi Street Biker DWP, that's waterproof, technical motorcycle riding shoe. I've ridden it in all different temperatures, all different environments, and I got a lot of miles on it. I'm here to share what I've learned about it with you. Those of you that follow the channel know I'm not uh, a leather pants, leather chaps, leather boots type of Harley guy. I think there's a lot more progressive gear out there. I'm on a mission to find that gear test it and review it for you guys right here on this channel. And I don't just pull stuff out of a box and then try to tell you guys about it. I actually go out and use things. I test them very, very thoroughly as I did this item in this particular video. So you know you're gonna get a real world biker review. So let's get right into it. Sizing comes in a lot of different sizes, of course, multiple colors to choose from. As far as the sizing goes, I'll tell you that I'm a nine and a nine and a half usually. And if you look at their conversion charts, of course, link in the description below to this product, hit up the sizing chart. Um, it has a Euro American conversion chart and it's very accurate. Um, they don't actually have a nine and a half. So I would suggest uh, in my case, I bumped up to a 10. So if they don't have that half size, I would bump up one size, you'll be safe. And if you appreciate this video and all the videos we put out on this channel, please consider supporting us. You can click through the affiliate link in the description below to this exact product. No additional cost to you. We do get a small kickback if you click through and make a purchase. And I really do like the look of this technical riding sneaker. You can walk into most places, nobody would even know that's a motorcycle riding shoe. That's what I really like about it. It's got suede cowhide all the way around this shoe and uh, very sturdily built, good stitching in this thing. I'll give you guys a close up here in a second. This is what I like too on this shoe. I really like this. It's a different kind of material up in there and it's almost like just a very, very reinforced fabric there of course up the top and like I said the rest is just that really nice look that suede cowhide. And that's what I really love about riding shoes is I don't like wearing boots um, because when you get to a vent or where you're going you got to walk around big old clunky boots. These offer a ton of protection these different riding shoes but you get that really really good looking style. And talking about style you've got the Dionysi Demon logo right there and moving over to the side right there same thing. I really like this in the heel. Um, right here you can see all these little dots. That's actually uh, right underneath is a reflective. So that's actually reflective material on the outside of course for when you're on the bike. We can move right into the sole. Pretty standard rubber sole. Not a huge lug pattern or anything like that. But I can tell you that they're definitely slip resistant. I haven't had any problems, uh, no problems with traction on these things. And as we move around the shoe, you can just see the stitching. And I have a lot of miles on these guys, uh, like I told you. And as I move around the shoe, you can really see that there's no uh, signs of premature wear or any indication um, that the stitching's coming apart. Real quick guys, if you appreciate all these free videos and what we're trying to do to help the law-abiding biker community, there is a way you could support us. You can become a patron member, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below. You can pledge a certain amount per piece of content that we put out. No risk, because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits of becoming a member. There's a private Facebook group that's blowing up. There's also a uh, access to premium videos and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, all the information is over. Hit the link, check it out. All right, let's get back into your video. So let's talk a little bit of protection. The toe, just maybe a little bit of reinforcement in the toe as we move around. Definitely the heel, you can feel it is beefed up uh, back there. So you definitely get a lot of protection in the heel area. And then of course, as we move in, of course, what we see in a lot of riding shoes is just this right here. And it's a very hard plate in there um, for your ankle bones, both sides. And definitely they feel like uh, if you went down, those are gonna offer a lot of protection. Let's talk the stiffness scale. Now all technical riding shoes uh, are going to be stiff out of the box, some more than others. Out of the box, I'll tell you, um, these I give them about a uh, eight, seven or eight right in there. And the, the one thing about riding shoes as I've tested a lot of them is how quick and how much they break in because of course we want to get off our motorcycle 
Uh, we want to have something comfortable to walk in, but we want that protection on the motorcycle. Well, these um, did break in. It didn't take a ton of time, but you definitely got to do some walking on them. And I feel like they're fully broke in now. Um, so from that seven or eight out of the box, I got them down now to about a five and they are very comfortable to walk in now. Still stiffer than a regular sneaker though. And I've ridden these in all different temperatures, well uh, up above 100 and then down to freezing to 32 of course, and haven't had a problem either way. A lot of people say, well, they're gonna be hot. Well, I'll tell you they're a lot cooler than boots if you're lugging around leather boots. They definitely breathe a lot better than that. And even in the 100 degree temps, no problem. Uh, much more breathable than you would think. We'll take a look inside here in a minute, a little bit closer, but you can see there, it's got that mesh liner that's gonna help uh, wick away some of that heat and sweat. So as I stated, these are waterproof, which is really nice. Yes, I have tested them. I have ridden them in rain and uh, they definitely are 100% waterproof and that's a nice thing. You're always protected from the elements when you're wearing something like this, um, a, a technical riding shoe, if it is waterproof, not all of them are. But if we look here, it's waterproof to about the third eyelet down here, and let me bring it in a little closer. So waterproof down to about there, so definitely if you're gonna wear these in rain and you want them to keep your feet dry, you'll wanna have a rain pant that goes down, you know, that, that is a high water pant, so to speak. Make sure it definitely comes around, gives you that protection. You don't want water up here leaking down up here. The reason is, when we take a look inside, you'll see the black and gray separation. Of course, this is the mesh up here. The gray starts the actual waterproof liner, and if I pull that tongue back, the gray matches up right with the tongue there and so as you can see water you know would come in here and slide down these channels here in the tongue you definitely wouldn't want your pan up high because it would sneak over the top of that and uh, get in there so just have a good length riding pant you should be fine other than that these shoes are 100 percent waterproof and they do offer a lot of protection they're ce certified and at the time of this video i believe 189 dollars you can check link in the description below. So I've reviewed a lot of different technical riding gear. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you get those videos. I just wanna mention, these are both Dionysi technical riding shoes. Of course, this one is the Street Biker. This one is the Street Rocker. They're very similar. They do have some differences. Um, basically, suede cowhide on the Street Biker, full grain leather on the Street Rocker. But uh, again, I'm reviewing them both on this channel so uh, you get to pick the one that best suits your needs. And of course, distressed laces. And uh, I will tell you that I haven't had any problems the way these are laced. You can see down here, they don't go all the way across. Um, here, they cut short and that's just so they stay out of your controls. I really haven't had any problems with them getting caught up in my controls. They suck down really nice when you tighten them up. And as always, leave your questions and comments below if you're already um, using these street bikers. Leave your comments. Let us know what you think about them. Help the community. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them. Either we'll try to answer or other members in the community will answer you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Every time that subscribe button is hit, another biker joins the revolution. That's right. Like it, share it with all your friends. I hope you're well. I definitely hope you are out there getting some riding in.